So to get started for this look, I am priming my eyelids using the P. Louise Eyeshadow Base Primer. And this is in the shade Rumor 2. And I'm just putting this all over my lid to prevent any creasing when we get ready to apply the eyeshadow. And everybody say hey to Big Mac. All right, so to set that primer in place and to further prevent creasing, I'm just tapping this loose powder. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, and I think this is uh, I think this is the shade Fair Fair Light. I think, but it will be down in the description box below. All right, you guys. So moving on to the fun part, I am using the Trendy in Tokyo BH Cosmetics Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going in with an orange color, an orange shade from that palette and using a blending brush. This brush will be listed down below. And I'm just pretty much blending that orange shade right above my crease and just pretty much packing that shade on until I build it up to the color that I want it to be. All right, so using that same blending brush, I'm going in with a yellow shade from that same eyeshadow palette and just blending that right above that orange shade. Um, I want to blend out the edges of the orange and also just want to add another layer of color, but I don't want it to be too harsh. So I'm just gonna keep blending until it fades smoothly into the orange and until the yellow itself is also smoothed out or blended out. <laughs> All right, y'all, now this is probably one of my favorite shades from this palette. This is a kind of like, kind of like a hot pink shade. I'm not sure. Um, the colors and all the colors and all the shades I use from the palette will be listed down below. But I'm just using um, that hot pink shade and this blending brush. This brush will also be listed down in the description box below. And I'm just pretty much just packing that shade directly into my crease and just kind of slightly blending it out. I'm not going to blend it out too much right now, but just packing that right inside of my crease. So now I'm gonna tap back into that orange shade because I feel as though it did get lost between that pink and that yellow. And I'm just going in with this fluffy brush. I'm really not sure which brush this is. If I find out, then I will list it down below. But I'm just pretty much packing that orange shade right on top of that pink shade and just blending it out. And I do want this orange to be vibrant. I am using a few different shades of color and I want each color to be visible. I don't wanna lose any colors. Um, when I apply another color, so I am doing a lot of back and forth with adding one color, then have to add another color, but y'all let's see how it's looking to end. So it's going to be worth this it. a lot of blending, but you'll be all right. All 
All right, so I'm going back in with that pink. Like I told y'all, it's going to be a lot of going back and forth with adding colors because I did feel like the pink started to get lost. So I had to go back in with that pink shade and just pack that back onto my crease. Because like I said, you do want every color to be vibrant. You want every color to pop. And then I'm going to go back with that orange as well and blend out that pink some more. And then just to add some more, um, some more orange color right above that pink color. All right, moving on. So the next shade I'm gonna pack onto my lid is this purple shade. And I'm just using this dense eyeshadow brush to just pack this color onto my lid. This shade was also pretty as well. I love how it blended in with the other colors. It's really giving me sunset vibes, you know, ready to be on someone's beach with a daiquiri in my hand. Like it's giving all kind of vacation vibes. Okay. So just going to keep packing on this purple color onto the lid until I build it up to the shade that I want it to be. All right, so even though this was not a cut crease look, I still wanted to blend out the edges around that purple shade. So I am just taking a little bit of that pink and the orange shade mixed together and just blending out that purple. All right, you guys, so moving on, the next step I am gonna be um, applying this black eyeliner to my waterline. And I really wish I would have waited for this step and you guys will see why um later on in this tutorial but i feel as though putting the black eyeliner on it gives the look a more dramatic feel you feel me Alright, so now I'm using this Nika K um, liquid eyeliner um, in the shade black, of course. And I'm just applying a very thin layer of um, liquid eyeliner right on top of that purple. I don't want it to be too dramatic, but I do want to just add just a little bit. All right, so moving on to the face, I am taking this e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer and I'm just applying that with this beauty sponge. 
And you guys, this is my first time trying this primer and I will definitely recommend it if you have dry skin and if you want that glowy feel to your uh, makeup with that glowy effect. I will most definitely recommend this product. It is from e.l.f. and it's really only 5 to $7 so it's definitely not on the expensive side. I will most definitely recommend this product. It's like my new favorite primer that I've used thus far so most definitely go ahead and grab that if you have dry skin all right you guys so this is my first time actually using this foundation this is born this way by Too Faced and this is in the shade golden beige i really think that i could have went down a shade this shade just may be a little too dark for me but it does match my neck and my chest area which is really 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 important but i still think i could have went a shade down but anyways i'm just using this foundation brush by real techniques that once again the name of the brush will be listed down below and i'm just patting this uh, foundation into my skin until it's somewhat blended because I do go back over it with a beauty blender just to make sure everything is blended out. So now I'm just going back over with a beauty blender and just making sure the foundation is blended in and that there are no harsh lines, that there's no patchy areas, that every piece of my face is pretty much covered with that foundation. I don't really too much put foundation under my eyes because I go back with concealer to conceal and highlight anyways. So I don't really focus too much under my eyes with the foundation, but everywhere else, I just want to make sure that it's blended out evenly because I have to apply highlight and contour and all that other stuff so i don't want it to be too cakey so blend 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 All right, so I did apply the highlight off camera and I'm just using this Real Techniques brush and I'm just pretty much tapping that concealer in place. I'm using this type of brush versus a beauty blender. I think works better for me, for me, if I feel as though it blends it out smoothly, it blends it out nicely versus in a beauty blender. A beauty blender tends to pick up some of the products and I just, I don't know, I, I prefer to use this brush. So I'm just using this brush to pretty much just tap and pretty much press that concealer in place. I'm not dragging it, I'm not swiping it. I'm just using tapping motions to press that into my skin. Now to blend the highlight out underneath my eyes, I do go in with the Beauty Blender 
only because I crease underneath my eyes a lot and I feel like so the beauty blender helps me blend out the product um, that's in the creases. It helps me blend it out better than a brush does. So I'm doing the same thing, just patting the foundation, I'm not sorry, not the foundation, the concealer into my skin the same way I did when I was using the brush. Just pretty much patting. And you can see some of the product that got picked up by that beauty blender. That's why I don't like to use a uh, beauty blender, but it does help me blend out where my creases are better than a brush does. I don't know, it's weird. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna keep doing that until I feel so everything is, everything is blended out evenly. And then this is the part, you guys, where I was telling you where I wish I would have waited to apply that black eyeliner because it's starting to get mixed in with that concealer just a little bit. You probably can't notice it on camera, but I did notice it. And yeah, it, I didn't like that. So from now on, I'm just gonna wait to apply any kind of eyeliner until after I do my highlight and everything. All right guys, so something happened with the camera. I think I ran out of memory or out of space on the um, on my phone because I do record for my phone and it did cut off. So I did do the contour off camera. Right now I'm just applying contour to my nose and just blending it out with this angled brush. Alright, so to basically set that concealer and my highlight in place, I am using that same brush I used to blend out the concealer and I'm just pretty much tapping my loose powder. Um, it's the same Maybelline Fit Me loose powder that I used on my eyelids. I'm just pretty much tapping that product over that highlight and just want to make sure that we're setting that properly, that there is no creasing. Alright, so next I'm going in with this angled brush to apply my bronzer. And I'm just pretty much applying the bronzer where anywhere the contour was applied. And the name of this bronzer and the shade will be listed down in the description box below. All right, so while I let that powder rest on my highlight for a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and start 
applying some of that purple eyeshadow to my lower lash line and just kind of blending that out. I love doing it. Um, I love doing this part because it does bring a more dramatic look to what I already have together. So this is most definitely one of my favorite parts of any eyeshadow look. All right, so next to pretty much um, complete this eye look, I'm just applying this gold shimmery color. Um, I know that it's by NYX. I'm just not sure the name of it, but of course it will be down below in the description. I'm just pretty much popping that in the corner of my eye. you guys so now going back in with that same techniques fluffy brush I'm just pretty much tapping in that excess powder from that loose powder just tapping that in place this is to avoid any flashbacks from when you're taking your pictures you know you want those flawless selfies so this is gonna help you to prevent any flashbacks okay so I'm just pretty much tapping it in place and just tapping it into my skin So now I'm going in with this Real Techniques blush brush and just applying some blush to the apples of my cheeks and right on top of that contour and that bronzer. And now it's time to be spritzed down by that MAC setting spray, yes. Now you guys, I'm just taking that same gold shimmer powder that I used on the, in, in, on the inner corner of my eye. I'm just pretty much applying it right underneath my brow bone. All right, you guys, so moving on for highlight, I'm using that same gold shimmer color and it's MAC brush. Of course, the name of the brush will be down in the description box. And I'm using that shimmer color as a highlight, just popping that onto my cheekbones. I'm gonna use it on my cupid's bow, down the bridge of my nose, and just some um, um, over my brows. You guys, I love highlight, I love shimmer. And, you know, just don't flow with me. Just glow with me. I love glowing. I love highlight. I love all of that. So, yeah. You got to make sure your, your highlight is popping and glowing. All right, you guys. So, lashes have been applied. The look is almost done. I'm just applying this lip liner. It's a brown, a dark brown lip liner. I'm just applying that to my lips before I apply any lipstick or lip gloss.
All right, you guys, so to complete the lip look, I'm just going in with this MAC lipstick. I really forgot the name of the shade. It'll be listed down below, obviously, and I'm just pretty much buffing that out with my lips and just making sure that everything is blended perfectly. And guys, this is the final look of this Sunset Vibes. I love the highlight. I love the colors. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys on my next video. Mm -hmm.